TAC Capital. Technical analysis quickly. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Before taking any action based on the information provided on this channel, it is recommended that you seek the advice of a professional licensed financial advisor. Let's do this. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm doing a follow-up here on Atom that I did yesterday. So if you're following this coin, uh, hang in there and I'll explain what's, what to look for. Right now, we are in this yellow wedge. Actually, we're in a red wedge within a yellow wedge. We just completed this white wedge. You can see here at the top, we broke out of the white wedge here, came up, hit the red wedge, failed to hit the yellow wedge. So to explain each individual wedge and where they are in their life cycles, I'll start here. We've got the white wedge, first hit, second hit, third hit, fourth hit, swing down, breakout. Okay. Yellow one, first hit, second hit, third hit, fourth hit, and then we came down and we broke out, but we only really tested it. So the question that was formed here is, are we moving the yellow wedge? Did we, are we reshaping the wedge to where instead of this, you have one, two, this is no longer three. So that isn't actually a hit. This becomes three. And are we going to make it up to the yellow to get four for our breakdown. Well, <clears throat> based on what I'm looking at here in the Ichimoku cloud, I don't think so, because you've got the green separating so far above the red, but I'll explain that here in a second. On the red wedge, we have our first hit, second hit, third hit, and now we're gonna come down, get our fourth hit here, maybe a bounce and a breakdown. So we've got the yellow wedge indicating coming down. We've got the red wedge indicating coming down. And the fact that we've now completed the white wedge, and it would have only popped up a little bit, most likely anyway, which it did. Uh, that one also supports the narrative that we're coming back down. So to talk more about the Ichimoku cloud, like I said I would here, we are currently on the seven hour chart. If we spread this out a bit, we can see that from peak, we started to come back down towards the Tenkin because the Tenkin did not follow it all the way up there. It started to curve over. The Kijin curved over way back here and just is continuing to come straight. So this is creating a mouth, as I say. We've got one and two. And then the candles, as they are, are starting to come back down into the mouth. And then from there, I think we're going to go down, break out of the yellow, break out of the red, and head straight down because Bitcoin is looking like it's going to be doing the same and as Bitcoin is king it kind of controls the market uh, we also have horrible stuff going on in the stock market so or it, certainly it looks like it's setting up for a massive meltdown I think the fourth quarter here is going to be tragic for for stocks but if you're shorting then you know you're making money either way if we jump down in time frame just to get another you know more micro look here assume my computer plays ball I drew this wedge yesterday because that's what we're in when we had our one, two, three, four, nope, there's four. And then we've just sort of been going sideways before we hit, come down and hit our breakout. Uh, I think a lot of this is just a refusal to die. It's also playing off of Bitcoin's run that it did yesterday that it couldn't sustain the 6% uh, that I had predicted and only hit 3% before coming back down. So. We'll see how that plays out today. That could result in a little more upward price action from here, but it's not something that I feel is going to last. I just don't think it has the volume and the momentum. Looking at the two hour, I mean, we saw here too, space was created, candles came down into it. Three hour, same thing, space. Candles are coming down into it. And often, they'll, as the uh, tankin kicks up, they get caught. I mean, that's a way to look at it. Obviously, it's not a literal line, but they get caught. So then on the next three-hour candle, 
it could populate below the line and then it'll move down quicker. It's also broken out of its blue um, downward channel here, which if I zoom out to show you, this is the 11 hour chart, which you can see it here. It starts here and runs all the way down and then the other side of it's here. So we had our first hit, second hit, third hit, fourth hit, and now we've just had our breakout. So we've completed that channel as well. But to zoom back in here, this is the three hour, and then we'll take a look at the fourth hour or four hour, five hour, all the same thing, six hour, seven hour, just the, the big mouth calling the candles back down into it. Now the question becomes, now that we've broken out of this white line, which you can see was established way back here, uh, this will now act as support. So we could come down and kind of hover across this line for a while before we break down. It just depends on how much pressure the Ichimoku cloud is putting on these candles, bringing them down in. And I think it's going to be considerable. I think while this may act as support momentarily, it's not going to last. And if you, you know, zoom out even further, we're talking you know, on the daily, is this just a wick? Now, technically, no. It's We've got a candle now forming above it and coming back down. Now, we don't have a mouth here, per se. I mean, we do. It's tiny. It's nothing like, you know, this huge opening here. Uh, it, it, this does support the possibility that there could be some bullish action at any moment, but I don't think so. Often, when they just lay flat like this, they're calling it back down. If, of course, you know, people just start jumping in, volume takes off, both of these can stand up side by side and start running up with them. I just don't see that happening. Furthermore, when you get back and you look at like how far outside the Bollinger Bands we are here, it sucks them back in even further. And look how far out we are here. These Bollinger Bands act like elastic. And as you poke through the elastic, you build pressure and then it's, they come crashing back down, often overcorrecting to the other side. So if we look back here on a smaller time frame, we probably have uh, a complete reset. Let me see where those were. We don't have it on the five hour. Eight hour. Yep, here. They all came out here. And then we came all the way down to the other side of the Bollinger Band. Where we poked out. Came all the way up to this side of the Bollinger Band where we came out. Again, came out. Came out. Came out. Came out. So now this indicates we're going to do the same thing again. So it's just further evidence that we're looking at... Um, a complete reset, which would again break us out of the yellow, break us out of the red, because this is going to come down like this while this comes over like that. So I say in the short term, potentially even long term, because once we break here, if Bitcoin's doing the same thing, we're going to come down God knows what percentage. I mean, you could be looking at another 50%. It just depends. So entering a short right around now, I think is going to be very lucrative. But that's all I have for today on. Adam here, uh, if you have any requests for different coins you want me to look at, feel free to leave comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great day out there.